Means if you don't catch them all, it's an L. All right, you ready? Mm-hmm. How's the audio? Are we audible? I don't want. Oh any shit! You right? Happenings. Smart. Yeah, no. Yeah, I already <laughs> yeah. fixed it. I already fixed it. It's fine. Okay. <clears throat> all right. So we shouldn't have to worry about it. Anymore. Nope. 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 Oh. Hello and welcome back. We are not Mr. Mime this week. Um. So we are way too excited, and it's not even for this episode. It's for next episode. But uh, this episode was dope too. We'll talk about it. Uh, I bought some fresh new packs. Same. We're going. We're going with base Scarlet for the Wait, next the couple months. Yeah, I'm That's going with weird. base Scarlet for the next few months. I might switch it up, but uh, yeah, I like to do base. <laughs> already, all right, I'm already excited. All right, I'll, okay. All right, so I set the energy. Okay. And then sadly, this wasn't when we did dots episodes, but we got Quaxley. Nice. That's the second starter I've collected. All right, we got Crushing Hammer. Useless. Well, Get that out of here. Uh, Ponyard. Is this thing? No, it's. Oh. I almost spoiled myself. I have something shiny in the back here. Oh, we got like the little uh, clay art starly. Okay. Those are growing on me. Uh, I got another like one of these. Ones. I still don't really like them that much. Oh, oh we good. got your boy Tatsu. Okay. Man standing up proud. Nest ball. There's something very shiny in the back here. I'm just letting you know. Ooh. Paw me. Maybe it's one of those terrestrialized cards. <clears throat> Sundial. And... and... Oh, I see. It's the color. Houndstone. Look at that. Oh, okay. Yeah. Hollow Houndstone. The hard that? reflecting right now. Like, hold on. If I do this, look Look at this. Look at my glasses. Hard, yeah. hard <laughs> reflecting. It's a clean oh, card. We'll take it. All right. So let's see what we got. We also have a... Grass energy. Grass energy. We just look we so have cooler. The Pokemon. Yeah, Crown Xena has some cool... Uh, Pokemon catcher. Pokemon catcher. We have a Pincurchin. Pincurchin. A rare candy. Candy. An emolga. That's pretty good Looking background. Adorable. That's good. Yeah. Ooh, that looks kind of cool. Cutting down some bamboo. Yes, sir. Okay. We got Starly flying with a little flock. Uh, I want that one. <laughs> Here, we have trade. Riolu in its little standard anime stance, I guess. Aaron, 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 A Aaron. I think I shuffled it out of order. We'll save you that probably, for after. You probably There's a little did. something, something there. We have a Yen Mega. Ooh. Because I didn't, and then, <laughs> no, I did. Because I didn't. I don't. I don't have a reverse. I guess that was the reverse slot in the rare Yen Mega. Yeah, because um, this is Crown Zenith. But in the reverse yeah. slot, we have this. <sighs> Raikou v. Which is one of the cards I really wanted. Oh, perfect. Uh, v. That's good. That's um, good. That is very good. So nice. I'm going to go grab a sleep for that immediately. All right. So why does that? So starting this week, I'm going to use <laughs> clips from the episodes for the thumbnails. I think that'll, uh, yeah, that'll be a bit more fun. Uh, I wanted to, I wanted to keep trying doing something with the format, but honestly, I would. I, the enemy's going to pick up from here, and there's a lot of exciting, spoilery, uh, interesting things that are going to be in the next few episodes. So I'm really excited for that. Uh, in this episode, we are finally touched down in Paldea. Uh, take that Twitter week zero people that <laughs> constantly complained about the setting of the anime. We literally were, were at the Kanto school for like two episodes. We were in Kanto for like a total of four to five-ish. And like eight yeah. episodes in, we're in Paldea. So uh, we are already on a journey they're trying to find the black rayquaza and luckily like i was trying to tell darian earlier they have to have something that keeps them there i guess it's just going to be simple as the black rayquaza nothing crazy is popping off but next week's going to be super super exciting i don't want to get into the details in case you actually want to see the episode i don't want to spoil what's happening in the next episode um but yeah very simple episode liko just sort of trying to find her footing with her father after not seeing him for a very long time and Let's see what else happens. Eventually, it, she comes to terms with what she wants to do, thanks to help from some of the others and overhearing conversations that Freed had with her dad. And she's deciding to continue journeying with the Rising Vault Techers, and he's completely cool with that. Uh, so that's a quick synopsis of the episode. Darian, tell me, what was your favorite part of the episode? Um, Probably... I like the middle part actually with the Illichonk encounter on the road. Oh that yeah, that looks that Illichonk battle was cool. I really wanted to catch a Illichonk. Yeah, that was it. Yeah, but not not yet. Um, other than that, it was like so it was a pretty bog standard episode. Um, 
we got, like you said, we got them to convince, because they're like, oh, her journey's coming to an end. But of course, I mean, it's pretty much common sense that that probably wasn't going to happen. But yeah. you never know. They could have spun that off somewhere. But Yeah. Have so her have, have some gonna, episodes at home. Yeah. yeah. They're going to continue on their journey. I'm excited. Like I said, the next episode is when it really kicks off in Paldea. So, mm-hmm. yeah. But like I said, it's a pretty standard episode. Nothing too crazy, but it was, it was fine. Yeah, I think my favorite part was roasting uh, Liko's dad because he's just a normal painter guy. He's got a little fight as a partner, um, a yeah. little bit of beta male cuckery there. Yeah, but, apparently um, her mom's on a he's trip pretty cool. too. We yeah. didn't really get mom, to see her. Mom is a mystery. We don't know anything about her. Uh, which, or the grandmother, which means she has to be important. Them, yeah. Surely, I mean, it can't just go from grandma to Liko. Surely, the mom's involved with something crazy going on. Uh, so I can't wait to see what's happening there. Uh, she's on a field trip, which could mean literally anything. It means she's a yeah. school teacher, professor, uh, a fellow at some research center doing something. Oh, she could be chaperoning for all we know. She's going to be like, go, going <laughs> Ash. We're going to see going to Ash with Liko's mom. Pause. Um, but yeah, very interesting. Again, not too much this episode. We also, Liko realized that her YouTube idol's mascot suit was flying on the ship and she stopped for a second to see like what that looks familiar that's got to be and then she's like wow well, time for it. i'm like perfect you don't have time for it that's true <laughs> go ahead make an excuse save that for later it's gonna be really cool later uh but yeah i mean not too not too much happening roy had a very weird fascination with uh picture books in this episode that's about all he did was read uh good for him uh i wonder if that'll pop up i wonder if he learned anything interesting from reading Lico Stats books because uh, he even said that he wrote a book about a black Rayquaza, and that's such a random thing to write a book yeah, about. <laughs> Especially if you're from Paldea and not Hoenn. Like, what does Black Rayquaza have to do with anything? Um, but considering that, like, the ancient ball and the pendant are connected, perhaps the ancient ball wound up in Kanto from Paldea. I don't really know the geography on that too well. But I guess it makes sense. I mean, Spain is a European country... Uh, I think it might even be coastal because a few of them are, and then I mean I could be completely wrong. And that uh, you know, Japan's just a little island. Maybe it's possible uh, that on his on whoever this ancient adventurer is, maybe like maybe it's possible that throughout his adventures he like dropped the ball. But seeing as it's all connected, maybe Roy read something in a book. That's about all he yeah. had to do this this week. Uh, anything else that stood out to you? Because again, next week's when it's really gonna kick off. Yeah, not too much. Um, I, I'm, I, I have to say the ball that Roy has kind of gives me Magirna vibes. So it could have maybe washed from Kalos. I mean, I don't know who knows. I don't really yeah, know where. Maybe there be pieces. I don't know. Wait, because well, like Magirna world. isn't on Kalos. It's just during that. Or I don't know what. Those on the you know, Pelican, yeah, the movies right? take place in different yeah, the movies are areas anyway. Different. But I mean, yeah, I just it want. I just, that's so my excuse to want Kalos because I like Kalos. Yeah, um, Kalos DLC one. Uh, maybe we'll get a DLC three and four, <laughs> and get Pokemon Z the DLC. Who knows? The game sold like ridiculous, so they might yeah. see the demand. They just gotta give them time to develop more game. Um, but yeah, uh, that might be all we have for this week for you guys. Uh, but we're super pumped. Next week we're gonna have a lot, lot more to talk about as we're finally featuring uh some Paldean characters. They mentioned Brassius. Uh, so their next steps, and if you've watched the episode, it wouldn't be too big of a spoiler. Uh, we are going to see Brassius. They're going to do the Sunflora test, and somebody will be battling Brassius uh, on the gym challenge. So we're looking forward to that. We hope you do as well. And we've that's about all we've got for today. So until next time, we hope you take care. Say goodbye, Darren. Well, all right. That Raikou card is worth $25. <laughs>